Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to configure the DHCP relationship. Normally, you know, in order because DHCP is so important for the you know for the company network. If the DHCP server does not work, people computer can't get an IP address and can't connect to the network, you know, browse network. So let's see how can we configure the DHCP relationship. When we talk about the DHCP relationship, is is about uh, two DHCP servers, you know, fail over they can fail over to each other. So if I go to the administration tools and then I go to DHCP, so I have a DHCP server here is a domain controller, and also I create a scope. If I go there, I create a 192.168.1.0 scope and I want to create another scope I just uh, right click create a new scope So just one click next and then next next config. So put it the default gateway. Put it the server just one click OK. Uh, no wins next finish so I create another scope 192.168.2.0 so normally if I right click I click managing DHCP servers we see there are two DHCP servers one is the domain controller W2012DC the other one is test dash W2012R2 I can also add this one also right just uh, add this one so this I add just two DHCP servers for this DHCP this domain controller I right click the IPv4 and then I configure the fail over can you configure fail over so there are two DHCP scopes I have already created here so I just click next and the partner server, I just uh, select uh, the add server. I add this, this two server. I add this one, and then click next. So just uh, minimum time, I just keep as default. And this one secret. Finish. Click. Now it's, you see this one successful as scope. So if I click close, now we see this test two. What happens if I go there? We see this two scopes has been yellow you know, catered to this test server now. So this is set up correctly. So if I go to the IPv4 again and click properties and then in the uh, failover, if I click it, just you see this one is a uh, load balance. So this means you know you can use this one if I click this. We can select you know hold standby mode or load balance mode. If load balance mode means you know both one can behave as a DHCP table replicated with each other. But if we click hold standby mode, you know this means you know one server is active, the other one is you know passive passive mode, and then they can you know 
If the one step is done, they can fail over to the other one. You see, this one address reserved for is 5%. We can just use this one. Let's just keep this node balance mode. Click OK. So this is fail with set up correctly. And you see, we see this both the, you know, the IP address range has been replicated to the other server. See this one. This is two it's empty. We we'll see this two has been replicated. So let's say you know we have configured the failover you know on the DHCP server for two servers. If we needed to remove one you know scope, let's say we create this one before. If we want to remove, how can we remo remove the scope from this you know failover? DCP relationship. So if I right click this one, I click delete. It says currently active. Do you want to delete? Okay, yes. You see this one says is a uh, scope is part part of the failover relationship. Please delete scope from the relationship. So this means I can't delete it now. So how can we remove the scope if we don't use it anymore? So very first thing we need to do is we right click the scope, we just click D configure failover. So when we click D configure failover, we click OK. And it's successful, then I click OK, close. Then you see this one is uh, the the relationship between these two cells is broke, you know, because we want to delete the scope. So first thing I want also want to Refresh this one. After I correct, you know, from this one, after I do the deconfiguration, you see this 192.168.2.0 scope is removed from the other server log. You see, this one is done, it's gone, it's not here. So I still need to do one more thing. I need to delete this one from this server. I just click delete. So this one can get yes. So this why you know we can delete the scope, you know, DHCP scope successfully. So you see on both servers there's only one scope now. There are two uh one line two dot one six eight dollar two dot zero scope is removed. Yeah, that's so all I show you today. So today I just show you how to configure the failover, you know, between the two DHCP servers and also how to remove the scope, you know, from the for the DHCP relationship. Thank you, thank you.